We've reached the month of October and several teams from DBU are right in the thick of conference races, including women's soccer, who enter this week in a tie atop the league standings. Another squad that is off to a hot start is the DBU ice hockey team. And we start this week's edition of Patriot Insider by taking a look at a DBU team that is out to a 7-1 start through their first eight games. Our depth has been really important. Every single line has been producing, and uh, with that, we don't have to depend too much on our top lines for solely uh, producing. And um, defense is important. We've been playing pretty good defense, but this uh, we got a few trips coming up. We got a trip coming up to Colorado. We play Colorado twice in Colorado State. Uh, defense is going to be crucial. We got to be able to produce defensively, and then offensive opportunities are going to be able to come. In baseball, the Patriots' all-time home run leader, Austin Listy, was recently awarded the Philadelphia Phillies Minor League Player of the Year, presented to him at Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. In just his second season in the minors, Listy hit 312 with 18 home runs and 84 RBIs between the high A and double A levels, and has been invited to play in the Arizona Fall League beginning in early October. From baseball to the soccer fields, the DBU women's soccer team hit the road last week for a pair of matches. On Thursday at St. Mary's, the Patriots overcame a 2-1 deficit in the final minutes to force overtime, and then a header from Delaney Schmidt eventually gave DBU a 3-2 win. Two days later, the Patriots faced St. Edwards in a showdown for first place in the Heartland and battled to a scoreless tie through regulation before the Hilltoppers netted the game-winning goal in the 102nd minute. The men's golf team traveled to Wichita, Kansas for the Newman Fall Invitational. Senior Joaquin Arguelles led the way for the Patriots, posting his 13th career top 10 finish as he placed third on the individual leaderboard and lifted DBU to a fourth place team finish. I knew it was going to be a long day, it was kind of windy, and we needed a good round to come back a little and move up, move up on the leaderboard. And at the beginning of the day, I started making some putts and then I didn't realize I was having a really good round until the last nine holes, which I started making more putts and hitting really close shots, and I got it down to a five under. But then um, I finished with two bogeys, which I mean, three under is always good. And I think the best thing was uh, the coaching. Uh, Christopher, Corey, and Sierra Campbell did really help me to keep my head up and keep just hitting the best shots I can and I tried to take it just one thing at a time every, during the whole day. The nationally ranked men's and women's cross country teams traveled to Denver, Colorado on Saturday for the NCAA South Central Regional Preview. Both teams came away with second place finishes as Stetson Rias paced the men's squad with a second place showing, while Leah Lewis came away with a ninth place finish on the women's side. That's a look back at last week's action surrounding the Patriot Athletic Program. To keep up with all the latest news surrounding DBU Athletics, you can follow the Patriots at dbupatriots.com and on social media through Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Join us again this time next week as we look back on the week that was in DBU Athletics. For Patriot Insider, I'm Reagan Radcliffe.